I am Dr. Leela Mohan. I am an MD physician. I practice uh, diabetes. I have my own center in uh, HSR Bangalore that is called as Padidam Healthcare. And then I am consultant in uh, Motherhood and uh, Columbia Asia on Sajapur Road. Diabetic ketoacidosis. It's a major complication of diabetes. So why usually it occurs? Very high blood sugar levels in the body and low insulin level leads to diabetic ketoacidosis. So what are the main symptoms of diabetic ketoacidosis? So the main symptoms are increased frequency in uh, micturition and uh, confusion. Patient will be having headache usually and the tremors and little anxiety type of uh, feeling, little heartbeat uh, fast, shortness of breath or difficulty in breathing and they easily and uh, rapidly tries to take breath more than the regular and vomiting sensation nausea is always uh, there and then uh, uh, confusion which uh, the person will not be aware of the surroundings and then they will talk uh, differently so these are the main symptoms of diabetic ketoacidosis where we have to look into so diabetic ketoacidosis uh, mainly causes uh, confusion and these all are the symptoms usually it occurs mainly in illness why illness mean like uh, during any illness the patient usually they will not be eating more so the patient will become obviously tired and uh, increased insulin resistance and uh, low sugar levels or sometimes because of the resistance the increased sugar levels causes this complications so technically when we'll uh, speak uh, the person goes into hypokalemia and then uh, it can uh, causes uh, cerebral edema and pulmonary edema so what is the cerebral edema it is accumulation of fluid in the brain and which leads to the confusion headache and tremors and anxiety and pulmonary edema that is accumulation of fluid over the lungs which will uh, cause uh, the rapid uh, taking of uh, breath, the increased respiratory rate, whereas the normal respiratory rate per minute is 18 to 20 breaths per minute. But here usually what happens, 40 to 50 breaths uh, the person can be taking. So certain symptoms when we notice in our people, so the patient can go to diabetic ketoacidosis, where we have to take him to immediately to the hospital. And the normal at uh, household uh, remedy, you can give the fluids to him. So the treatment at the hospital, usually we treat with the IV fluids and then uh, certain uh, related drugs which mainly to prevent the complications of diabetic ketoacidosis.